Hello and welcome back to our next video in our 4.15 tutorial and now we're going to start adding models, 3D files into our layout. So I'm going to click on the objects tab. That will display all the 3D files that I have access to in categories and I'm running the fitness version. So here I'll see each black is a manufacturer and then you'll find blue headlines like this and those are generic standard objects that we provide. So for instance you have the standard library here which is in every ESA design version and if I go into the indoor library for example I'll see a lot of generic items like reception desk, storage, seating, tables and so on that you can use. And, and in this sample I'm gonna add some equipment, fitness equipment into my layout. So I'm gonna select from the Star Trek folder here cardio E-series cardio and let's add some treadmills. So I see the treadmills that I have access to here and now I want to add them into my layout. So I'm gonna hold down my left mouse button and I'm gonna drag it out into my layout like this. And if we zoom in you'll see that it's actually a top view 3D scan of the product. So it's very easy to see what it is. And if I place my mouse cursor on top of it you'll see in the top right corner the name of the product as well. And when we drag it out, the thumbnail will become gray. So we know that this product is in our layout. Next to it is the camera. That's our starting point when we go into 3D. When you're in the Objects tab, I'm able to move that and rotate and place it wherever I want. So we'll place it right there for now. Now I'm going to place that treadmill. So I'm going to, in the corner, so I'm going to hold down my right mouse button and move it to the position where I want it to be. And I can use the arrow by holding down and rotating the object. And just, if you remember what the gaps we were able to duplicate, for example, the windows, a certain distance. And we have the option here for objects as well. And when you click on an object, it's going to display the object property menu here. And here I have some options. Altitude. More likely you're not going to raise that treadmill up in the air but if you had a television set or something like that you can change the altitude of the object really simple right there but if we weren't want to duplicate so we're going to take a step down here to the duplicate option uh, object section you have four directions that I can copy this object and a CC measurement where I can copy the object and I want to copy this treadmill one meter CC measurement to my right so I'm going to click on the black arrow here that will add another treadmill and if we click again, again and again it adds with one meter CC measurement for additional treadmills. If I want to move them all now as a group I can simply make a lasso around them by holding down my left mouse button and then I can move them as a group or rotate as a group. If I want I can actually lock these five treadmills together as a group so I can't break them apart by clicking the group button here. Now they are locked together until I click again on the treadmill or one of the treadmills and then ungroup and then they're separate objects again. We'll do an undo to place it back into proper position. Now we'll add some uh, more equipment. So we'll add a recumbent bike, drag it out rotate by holding down the left mouse button on top of that arrow and let's make a duplicate 1.5 meter CC measurement and copy just like that. We're not going to make any special planning here I'm just showing you how easy it is to add equipment so, uh, so we'll add a little bit more and we have some more strength equipment I'm just going to place those out into my layout hold down left mouse button, drag them out. And like I said, I'm not going to do any particular planning here. I'm just going to show you how easy it is to drag them out and place them into your layout. And if we go into 3D now, we'll see that we now have our first equipment in place. So we have the cardio section over here. Hold down my right mouse button to rotate and we see the strength equipment. So it's very easy to add equipment into your layout. 
we can of course go back take a step backwards in our libraries maybe add from the standard library some plants drag out and place wherever you want them just like that go into 3d again and you made a quick change now you have the option to add objects and move objects while inside 3D as well. And to activate the 3D space planning, you simply click on Move Edit Object. When we mark that, it turns blue. And when I move my mouse over objects, you'll see a box around the object. And if I want, I can hold down my left mouse button and I can move the object and place it wherever I want. So if I want to move it all the way over here, just hold down the left mouse button and place it wherever you want. And you have the option of duplicating as well. So now this object is marked and we'll move over here a little bit. You'll see I have a toolbar here and I wanted to print. Actually, I'll go through all of them. Move is currently up, uh, marked, but if we click on rotate and go back out, I can rotate that object. If I want to change its altitude, I can click on this button and then drag up or down. I can also type in the altitude in the field right there. Uh, then we have the duplicate tool and it's really nice. We click on that and you'll see four different arrows. And just by moving over, it will display a shadow object where that next duplicate will be placed. And the distance, before you do the real duplication, you can change right here. So I want to duplicate one meter apart, and I want to add some plants over here. So I'm going to select this arrow and just click on it. Just like that, one more time. You can move objects as a group, of course, as well. Make a lasso around the objects so you see two yellow boxes and we can move them if you want you can do undo and redo as well undo perfect if you want you can remove an object by clicking on it and in the final icon in the toolbar here click the trash can and it goes away or undo to bring it back again you'll see it from orbit view as well Maybe make a lasso around these three and move them as a group. So it's pretty nice. We'll go back into this view. And now I'll show you how easy it is to add more equipment. This was the move edit option. If you click on the assortment button next to it, it will display the same product categories that I had in 2D. So I can easily go down the list, go into one of the libraries, hold down left mouse button and drag it out. And now we need to rotate, so I'm going to click on it and select the rotate option, just like that. And if I want, I can move it back a bit. <clears throat> uh, for the strength equipment in this product category, I can change the frame and upholstery instantly in 3D. So, for instance, if we click on white, it will say, do I want to change all the objects of the same line? So in this case, we have the inspiration line and I want to change all of them to white frame. So we're gonna say yes. Or to change upholstery, actually select the brown and it changes to brown. We're back to silver frame. So it's really nice and easy to do color changes to the object as well while you're in 3D. Perfect. We'll close the 3D and of course it will update when you go back. So the, any changes that you made in, uh, in uh, 3D will bring go back into 2D as well. So that's how you add objects into your layout. Very, very simple. 
and uh, you just need to learn how to s go into a category, find the product that you want, hold down the left mouse button and drag it out. If you see on the top here as well, you have a bar. It's a quick search bar. So if you're looking for something, maybe I'm looking for a reception desk, then I can type in three letters and it will start looking for anything that starts with reset. And then if I want to add it, I hold down the left mouse button and drag it out. And in this case, I can change the, of course, the colors, the texture of a product in 2D as well. So you have the list right here. So if I wanted a black reception desk, I would say yes, and it will change. So that's how you use uh, and add objects and customize them in Easy Design 4.15.